Well, this is Texas, and we play football all year long. The Texas Revolution start their season tomorrow at the Allen Event Center. And joining us now is former player and now coach Jen Welter. Good morning. Hey, lady. Good morning. All right, last time I saw you, yeah. you looked nothing like this because you had on full pads, helmets, <laughs> and you were out on the field playing with the guys. Yes. Tell me about that. You know, it was a great experience. Um, Definitely a dream come true for anybody who grew up playing football. I mean, right now in our country, if girls play football, it's either play with the boys or don't play, right. you know, for the younger girls. So I was really glad to be able to get out there and show them what's possible when, mm -hmm. you know, like those guys said, like otherwise said, you know, when you really keep going and keep fighting, I mean, I, I never would have thought it was possible, but hey, that's sometimes that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Jen, were you raised here in Texas? I wasn't. I okay. was actually raised in Vero Beach, Florida. Nice. Right. Yeah. What's the transition been like from being on the field to coaching? Now, I know you've coached before, right? But what's it like coaching this team? You know, it's it's great. I was, I was a little bit nervous going in because I didn't know how the guys would respond. Do you get the respect? Do you feel like you get the respect from the guys? You know, I actually got most of the respect from playing last year. Mm. It was funny. One of the guys actually came up to me um, after the first day of practice and he said, Coach, I have to tell you something. And I said, <laughs> uh -oh. okay. I was like, what's up? And he goes, I know you don't know this, but I played for the North Texas Crunch last year. And um, I was one of the ones who hit you on the first play. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I said, oh, well, you know, good, good hit or whatever. And he goes, he's like, yeah, but he's like, I told all the guys before, you know, when you were coming to coach us, he's like, Man, I, I hit you so hard, I thought I killed you. And he goes, and then he's like, she just popped right back up like nothing even happened. Right. And talks back. He's like, you said, is that all you got? And I thought, wow. Dang, maybe I don't know if I need to be better. She's but. either bad or she is like crazy. He that did. He said, awesome. you made me second guess my manhood. I mean, I, I really thought I had put something on you and, and then you just pop right back up like nothing. So That's awesome. I think that helped. With yeah. the coaching. What's the age range of the kids that you're uh, kids of the, the guys kids. you're coaching now? <laughs> the big size adults. They're, they're they're big kids <laughs> that are younger than me, but much bigger than me. Um, you know, a lot of them are recent college graduates into a few years. Um, most of them, they're looking for that next level shot. Mm -hmm. You know, they were close. Some of them were in camp. Some of them played for a little while, um, and they want to get some film. Some went through some mm -hmm. off the field issues and. Um, or played at smaller schools. And they're really kind of bubble guys that are looking for that shot in the NFL. So we're trying to help teach them and take them to the next level. What sort of things do you do with the guys to sort of instill in them how important their off the field character is when it comes to making sure you end up on a team? Yeah, and that's, and that's big. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I won't say his name, but one of the guys came to us and said, this is, this is what happened. He had some family problems. And you know, just really lost his love of the game for a little while and, and wants to go back. And, um, you know, our coaching staff is so dedicated to helping these guys get to the next level. Wendell Davis is amazing with the guys. You know, he played for the Cowboys. He's um, played in the Arena League. Devin Wyman is an active minister. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's our I defensive Devin. coordinator. Yeah. yeah. He's, and, not a, he's not a small dude. No, he's <laughs> one of the biggest men I've ever seen in my life. But, you know, they tell them, men, it's our job. Yeah to get you to the next level. And that means everything. You have to take care of yourself mm -hmm. on and off the field as an athlete. Like, it's not just about the game. Mm -hmm. You know, and I actually told the guys yesterday, I'm like, what you have to realize is I'm the last person who should have made it in pro football. But I put something extra in in everything that I did. And that mm -hmm. was on the field, that was off the field. That's in the mentality and everything that you do. Mm -hmm. It's more than how you play. It's, and you know this, mm -hmm. it's, it's that person that you are. Because teams look for more than just your physical mm -hmm. ability. You know, and we said earlier that there has to be something else going on because we don't buy it. Teams are looking for not <laughs> only somebody who can athletically do the job, because there's a million of those guys, mm -hmm. but also people who will represent the organization and connect in with the fans, because you guys start yeah. the season tomorrow, right? We do. We so do. Tell we have us our first that. game. Um, you know, tomorrow, it's, it's going to be fun. Indoor football is so great because it really is fan-oriented. All the Everybody can come to the field afterwards. Kids under 12 are free. You know, it's a community event. You can come get autographs. You mm -hmm. can be close to these guys. And there's no place to hide in arena football right. because literally, you know, it runs right into the yeah, walls. It so um, it's fast, furious, 
fan it friendly is fun football. To watch. Yeah. Really fun mm. to watch. Well, we can't wait. And of course, I think they'll be talking about it more on the Drew Pearson show this yeah. weekend. So make sure you yeah. tune in. The Texas Revolution play this Friday at 7 p.m. tomorrow at the Allen Event Center. And Jen and the rest of the coaching staff will be on Drew Pearson's show, like I just said, live at 10 a.m. on Saturday. And coming up next, we have the Texas Revolution dancers because you can't do football without cheerleaders and dancers. So and they're come on back. And they are. So come on back. And let this show. Yeah, right? <laughs>